Hello everyone, welcome back to the Info City. I hope you all are doing well. Uh, today's video is about how to take a screenshot on your computer, on your system, on your or on your laptop. I've been asked several times this question, so I thought maybe why not I make a video so everyone will understand it properly. So let's get it started. Okay, there are several methods of taking a screenshot on a computer. Uh, I'm going to discuss all the kind of possible ways that you can use to take a screenshot on your system. So let's start with method number one. See, I have a sample photo over here of the keyboard, uh, how the computer uh, keyboard looks like. So it would be easier for you to understand which keys I would be using to make a screenshot on the computer. Okay, so there are two keys that would be used to, you have to select the uh, Windows key along with the print screen key. Okay, the print screen key is in between the scroll lock or in some computers, there is an insert button or F12 button. This is the key over here, which see over here, this is, this says print screen. Some computers have the writing as PRTSCR print screen okay so let's see what happens when when i use the windows key along with the print screen key. see my screen went a little dim what happened in this moment when when the screen got dim it took a picture of my screen all of the, my screen was captured in the system so let's see where it was saved see over here all the screenshots that i've taken they are stored over here see it's stored in my system here so which two keys you will be needing to make a screenshot in your computer first is the window key and then is the print screen key you have to uh, click both these uh, keys together to take a screenshot the screenshot will go directly to your system it will be directly saved in your system in the pictures folder by the name of the folder screenshots see over here this PC pictures and in screenshots folder. Okay, so this is method number one. Let's move to method number two. In method number two, you just have to click print screen. Okay, let's see. I have just clicked print screen. What happened? It took a picture of my system. It also took a picture of the whole screen that I'm using, but it's not saved anywhere. It will be just in your it would be just like copied in your clipboard if you will copy something else that picture would not be saved somewhere in order to save this picture what you can use you can use paint okay let's open and i'll tell you that see the picture is already copied we're going to open paint see it's open now i'm going to paste it see the picture was there i just clicked the print screen key and it was copied to my windows but it was not saved somewhere but if i have to save it i have to open my paint or any other software that i'm using to paste it in the system to save it in the system you can use a gimp software you can use it you can save it in photoshop you can save it in paint shop Pro, all these kind of image editing softwares you can save it in it okay now you can save it as uh, when you go to file you can save it as a PNG a JPG a BMP GIF or other formats whatever format that you want okay let's see I'm going to save it it's I'm going to save it in J JP JPG okay I'm going to save it in the screenshots folder mm, let's name it untitled okay untitled so when, when I go to the screenshot folder, see there is an untitled file over here as well. So the, these are the two methods that you have used, that you can use to store a picture, a screenshot in your system. There are alternative methods as well, uh, where you can uh, take partial screenshots and some other kind of screenshots. In the, ad in the advanced systems, uh, th there are different kind of tools that have been introduced inside the windows. Now you don't have to like in uh, install any new thing. Uh, there is a snippet tool that is already in uh, introduced in the new versions of windows that automatically take a screenshot of not the whole screen, but the partial of screen or the type of uh, screenshot that you need or type of the 
I, um, like with the kind of uh, item you require, it only takes a screenshot of that particular thing. So let's see how we can uh, use the snippet uh, in Windows. So for snippet, uh, for using snippet, you need to uh, select the Windows key. This is the Windows key. You need to select Shift and then there is S. So I'm going to select Windows, Shift and S. See what happens. See a new window, something like that open on the top. This is a snippet tool that has been activated. So now there are different options. There is a rectangle, there is a lasso, there is a clone, and then there is a whole full screen snip. Let's see what happens. If we select the rectangular slip, what happens? Okay, I selected the rectangular snip and see, I can select any kind of thing that I want to save in my system and it will take a snip of it and it's save over here. It's not really saved. They are asking like, you have taken this snip. Do you want to save it? Snip save to clipboard, select here to markup and share the image. It is currently in the clipboard. It's not saved in the system. You have to save it in the same way that you saved in the previous method. You can save it in any editing software like uh, in paint. See, this is paint already open. I'm going to click new and see I paste it over here now I just have the picture of that particular keyboard that I just took so this is another method uh, now there are different kind of snippet tools uh, if you want to we can discuss those as well see in this case I want to take a snip again so what I'm going to do I'm going to select the Windows key I'm going to select the shift key and then S the snippet tool is opened again. Now this is the lasso tool, free free form snip or lasso tool we call it. The free form snip is like it, it will select like this kind of thing, not a particular type, not in particular shape, like in, in any rectangular or any kind of form. So this kind of uh, image will be stored if we uh, select the free form tool. Now let's select it again, shift, windows and S. Now, this is a window snip. It will just snip the window that is already opened. It will not show anything else. Let's see what happens when I'm going to select it. This window I selected, so the, see, it has taken a snip of the whole window. If I want to see if the snip is uh, correctly taken or not, I can also click on it and it will show you the snip. Now, there are different kind of things that you can do with snip as well. You can touch write it. If you want to write anything over here, you can write it. Or if you want to change the color, you can do it. You want to change the size of the marker, you can do that. Or you want to change the type of the tool that is used. Uh, like if you want a pencil tool, you can select it. You want a marker, you can use it. And then there is an eraser as well. Whatever you have written on the snip, you can just click uh, erase it with just one click. Then there is a ruler tool. It will tell you the measurement of your snip if you want to use it. And then there is a pro protractor, like any kind of protection you need. or You can use it any kind of geometric shape you want to use or you want to see the uh, measure the... Uh, want to use the measurements or something like that you can use this tool as well now there is another one which is called the crop tool if you want to crop the image if you don't want if there is some unwanted thing that has all already been uh, added in the picture and you want to crop it out you can also do this you can use the crop tool okay now these are the now here is a save button now there is copy share if you want to just share it from here you can do that and then if you want to take a new snip you just have to click new over here and then there is a timer as well which will tell you that after how much time do you want to take a snip so if i'm going to select snip in three seconds see what happens whatever will be open within that three second time frame it will take a snip of that picture. see it took a snip of that screen it's over here now a pop-up will open over here in the bottom and it will show you the snip that is taken. See, it has taken the snip of this. 
uh, toolbar because I was there. Uh, I just clicked on that thing at that point. So it took a snip of my toolbar. So see, these are uh, these are the three methods I have discussed with you, which which will be which can be used to take a snip or take a screenshot on the computer. So there are different other softwares as well that you can install, like Snagit. All these three methods, uh, which are already built in in your system, then I don't think so that you would be needing another software. You know, want to uh, download a new software in your system and you want to uh, use it. Because uh, I think uh, these softwares are sufficient enough to for taking a screenshot in the system. I hope my today's video will have been useful for you and uh, it would have helped you out in uh, taking screenshots on the system. And uh, that's all about it.